yet again for the start of the race. The lights are on ahead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. And it's a good reaction from the Alpha Tauri driver. Just driving to cover off Reina uh, into turn one. Katet under pressure from Totally No Pro. He's got away well. Who's down the inside and past the Haas driver up into P3. Koi's looking maybe for a move on Katet as well, but it doesn't come. And Gazelle is already out of the session. Dropping down the order. I think that's probably a crash uh, from... But Mikhail is going to go for it around the outside of Katet. He's on the inside line. He gets past and so does Koiz. And now Koiz is going to put Mikhail under a bit of pressure because those soft tyres working well from Katet loses two positions in one corner. That's not great for him. And watch Koiz all over the back of the Masik perspective from what we see. It's very long, very thin. Don't take that out of context. Right. Safety car in this lap, which means we will be getting back to green flag racing. Very shortly, you can see the Aston Martin Aramco Cognizant Formula One team sponsored safety car there. Re-entering the pits and you can see David in the Alfa Tauri leading them around the, uh, the final corner. Warming the tyres up and he's gone. And he has kind of caught Rainer napping in Civ pits. Which is just a terrible time to come into the pits. I'm not really sure why he's done it. Contact made. Purple Haze goes around. Mikhail, Coys, and basically everyone except for Incive, the beneficiaries of that. And you give Rainer the DRS back down the main straight. And that's exactly what he's done. A smart play. Will it play off? We ride on board with the McLaren. No, the Mercedes. And he goes flying past the McLaren down the straight. And comfortably up to P2. Mikhail, whilst this is going on in front of him, finds a way past the, the Ferrari into Turn 1. It's very likely that there will be a safety car this race. Another one. Uh, and also, with Dirty, he must have had a front wing change or something because he did drop positions to Piney and Coys as well. Right, rounding the final corner and... Sorry, I'm just stupid because I completely miss Rainer getting by Totally No Pro. Um, but Totally No Pro predictably gets the position back. As he I did update it to Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. That's so annoying. Anyway, around the outside goes Rainer on Not Lucas. I hate Twitch, you know. I really do hate it. It's so crap. Right. So. Wait, are we racing? We're racing. Well, totally no pro. It's holding his own. David. <laughs> Lucas not wanting to settle for fifth. He wants fourth. But the Aston Martin driver is having none of it. But can he stop the Ferrari from getting through? He lets off and goes down the inside. It's a great move from the Ferrari. And at the last second, does get up to P4. There's nothing that David can do now. As Totally No Pro crosses the line to win the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. David second, Reina third, Lucas fourth, Johan fifth and Dirty crosses the line for sixth. Mikhail, seventh. But I don't think that's a happy seventh at all for Mikhail. Too many mistakes, a race played with mistakes. And all you can ask is what could, what it could have been for the Mercedes driver and Laurie Soldier bringing up the back of the pack. Andrew extends his championship lead. Honestly, we, we don't have the app anymore. Or it isn't synced or something, so I don't actually know. 
He was leading the championship and stuff. Like, I, I, I have to look at the end of the race. Um, so that's not great. Well, that concludes the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and totally no pro. Does take the win. Lucas with a overtake right at the death.